Hi everyone, how is everyone doing? Okay, I am doing fine and it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful day. Of course, it's about to rain, but yeah, otherwise everything is okay. How was your weekend? My weekend was beautiful and uh, we had a lot of fun last night, you know, watching soccer, even though it was virtual playing, but we enjoyed with my people. Okay. Anyway, I just want to comment about the latest episode of the DNA show, Yet Nashi Mugabe. I'm, gonna add, I'm going to attach uh, a video clip, just a small, you know, cut of the video clip. And then I want to know what you think about this. Okay, now I'm just going to tell you this. This episode was really touching, okay? It was really, really touching. I was like, well, you know, some of the things that we do when we are young and growing up and we don't know much about life you know we do a lot of things and especially us girls we end up falling pregnant and having children and in some instances we don't even know who the real father of our children are okay and now one thing for sure is when people are growing up sometimes we tend to feel like i've heard it several times when i'm watching these dna shows where the mother saying well my child doesn't need his daddy. I am the father and the mother. They can get everything they want from me. But it's not always the case. It's not the case. The child needs to know the father. Okay. So, uh, when people grow up, when, when people are still young, we may say, well, they don't need that because they cannot think for themselves. But once they grow up, most cases that I've watched, these children end up saying, well, I want to know who is my daddy. And now the mother doesn't have an answer. And most cases we've seen that they would have said, okay, this is your father. And yet they are lying. The person that they're saying is the father is not actually the real father. I have seen it on several occasions. I've watched these shows for so many times. So this episode here, yeah, yeah, Tina Shemgab, is one of those episodes, you know, Raza, you know. If you saw that guy on the, is it Matthew? I think his name is Matthew. You know, he was so hurt. Even the alleged father himself was also very, very hurt. But one thing I just want to comment on the part of the real of the alleged father he was a gentleman he was sensitive enough he was you know understanding he was comforted i loved the part where he had to stand up and sit close to his son comforting him and reassuring him that as long as he wants he can continue to be in his life so now the mother now being asked Mimi, do you know who could be the next possible father. So I was like, well, you know, maybe this, maybe that. And I really felt sorry for the boy, for the young man. I feel sorry for him. Okay, he's, he's now a young adult, 24 years old. He's now a young adult. So he really feels like, okay, you know, imagine you're told that this is your father. You have, you know, bonded with him. You know that, okay, well, my children will have their grandfather. Later on, on TV, you are told this is not your father. It's disheartening for anyone. It's disheartening. But anyway, it is what it is. We cannot change what has happened in the past, but we can only change today for tomorrow. Okay, so that things can get better. I hope that you know a lot of us we are learning from these shows, the Artinashi Mugabibuti. There are consequences to everything that we, we do. Okay, especially us women sometimes, you know, uh Tiruku receiving end. We just want to be like them. Okay, if they can do this, sleep with a lot of guys and everything. I mean, to sleep with a lot of women. We women might also sleep with a lot of guys. But we have consequences, okay? Because we fall pregnant and we have children. And most cases we end up bearing the, you know, that burden of looking after the child because the father can choose to say, well, I don't think this is my child. I cannot take care of this child because this child is not mine. And you end up having a bed and of looking up at the children. So I see we need game here. We won't win this game. But anyway, the show was really, really touching. I'm going to leave you watching just a short clip from uh, that show, the last part of it, which was very disheartening to see a young man crying like that on national TV. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, my name is Ziki, and I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, I hope you're all doing very well. Have a wonderful, wonderful working week. May God bless the works.
of your hands and I'm going to see you again. She was at Cruz Vocals, right? Yes, yes. And I was doing electronics at Danico Projects. So okay, okay. literally we used the same combis, mm -hmm. transport, mm -hmm. going to school and back. So if I remember quite well, that's how we met. Okay. All right, all right. Then you, that was the, the time when you, 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 you made a proposal to her? Yes. Okay. Then you dated for how long? Um, our relationship was more on and off. Okay. Why? Um, uh, the time we dated, mm -hmm. and then, you know, there were complications with, with the parents, mm -hmm. like, the fact to her, the fact that she was white. Mm -hmm. And with my parents, my parents were quite strict then. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh -huh. it was... That was the main issue. Yeah. So the, the the parents found it difficult for for them to welcome you into the family or what? For or her to also accept the relationship. To, to ac from her side. Yes. From her side, um, I think so. Okay. Because we were more like uh, hide and seek. Oh, okay, okay. Catered for this dinner test to be done. Uh, the thing is, I um. The father was in South Africa. Okay. And equally, he went to South Africa a year ago. Okay. And um, he then said he wanted to change the information on his birth certificate and his ID and all that. Mm -hmm. So the father came. Okay. His mother, um, his grandmother went to visit mm -hmm. and she came back with the father. Okay. And uh, then he started asking me, Mommy, can you find out this? Can you find out that? Can you do this? Can you do that? Mm -hmm. So when I went to Market Square now to okay. find out, they were like, uh, as long as the father, where it says information of the father, as long as there's information written, uh -huh, uh -huh. we now need DNA tests. Okay. Because the father that's written there might now come saying, ah, why did you remove me as a father? So, you know, uh -huh, you, you're uh -huh. writing somebody else. How do I know he's the father? So. Uh -huh. They were saying that as long as they have DNA tests, okay. they can then say to the, the father that's written on the birth certificate that, no, you've got no way to stand. This is what the tests are saying. He's the rightful father. So I told them, and um, Matthew, the one was like, ah, so let's go, let's do this. I was like, ah, you know, you guys, <laughs> you, you, you want to rule my life. You want to run my life. I can't be dancing to your tune. I've yeah, got yeah. my own things. I've got my own life. I'm... I'm not going to school, I'm putting my things in order, I'm doing my own stuff. Okay. So that's when I was like, okay, we can do this on a Saturday mm -hmm. when I'm not going to school. Uh -huh. And so Matthew was the one who initiated everything and he's the one who's been pushing. So you were eating then? Yeah. While you were still at school? You were already eating on air? I, I was at college. Yes, yes. And... I think she was okay, still at Roosevelt. Oh, from four. Yeah, so four, she was, she was going. She was still at Roosevelt. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, I get you. So, how did uh, your relationship end? Or maybe you, 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 you were sleeping together up to the point when she got pregnant, right? Yes. Okay. What I can, I can that? say that, but the, but then the thing is, for me, it's quite easy because ah. I was never told she was pregnant. Or you were never informed? I was never informed. Okay. And then when this boy still was growing up, okay. um, we even had times that we were dating and I even saw the boy growing up. Okay, okay. So, and she never told me that it was my child. Mm -hmm. So he, his, his reactions and his actions, mm -hmm. I just decided, I just thought then that... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it. So is it justified in, in, in doing that? No, it's not because later on, before mm. I took him to his dad's mm. parents, mm. he um, he became rebellious towards me. Okay. He wouldn't, um, he wouldn't relate to me as his mother. Mm -hmm. he, he saw me as a sibling. Mm -hmm. He would call me by my name. Mm -hmm. He would phone me like, ah, ew, I want airtime. I want echo cash. Mm -hmm. I want this. I want that. Mm -hmm. To the point where I said to him, my guy, if you can't see me as your mother, mm -hmm. 
or go look for your mother and tell her and go tell your dad that you want airtime, you want ego cash, because you're treating me like a sibling and I can't be giving you my money. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, soon after I took him to... He was staying with my mom and my mom was like, no, you don't treat your mother like that. Okay. It, it changed a bit. He would look at me in a different manner. But when we were on our own, he would be like, yeah, mm. you. Oh. I want this. I want that. And I was like, ah, oh, my guy, no. Oh, okay. So after I took him to his grandparents, um, yeah. our relationship changed mm. quite, quite drastically. Mm -hmm. he, he started respecting me more. Yeah. He started it when he was in South. He started respecting me more. But when he went to South, okay. I, I found out like the day before he was supposed to travel, mm -hmm. his aunt, she... she um, she spoke to me on WhatsApp. She was like, ah, can you give Matthew traveling mercies, you know, bless him on his journey. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And uh, didn't he tell you? And I was like, no. When he got to South, I found out three days after he got there, two days after he got there, the auntie sent me photos and stuff. And um, we, were re we were hardly talking. I would be the one to start. Hi, how are you? How are things? Mm -hmm. I got to the point where I uh, and I'm going to school. I've got pressure with school. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, assignments that I need to do and stuff. Mm -hmm. I can't keep looking for people. Okay. I can't keep being the one starting. Hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. It's equally a give and take relationship. So I ended up stopped talking to him mm -hmm. and I later found out that the, the father shouted at him, his auntie shouted at him, his uncle down there equally shouted at him apparently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then now when he wanted to change his papers, he was like on my case every day talking to me, mommy this, mommy that, mommy this, mommy that. So I said, uh uh, Mr. Man, mm -hmm. I'm not dancing to your tune. Mm -hmm. I have my own tune to dance to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the general result uh, reads as that the alleged father is excluded as the biological father of the tested child. The probability of paternity is 0%. Uh, say you are not the father to this child. Uh, say he is not um, your father. Mommy, he is not the father. Matthew, Matthew, leave him, leave him. Okay. Mommy, what do you have to say about the dinner result? I'm shocked because okay. even when I took him mm -hmm. to the father, okay. to his grandparents, to his parents, uh -huh. the father took his hand okay. and his hand and he said, this is how I do it. So he's, he's ours, he's my grandson. All right. So I'm actually quite surprised okay. that it's that's not. the result. Okay. Okay. I get you. Say what you have to say about the dinner shop. Oh, God. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. One closure, mm -hmm. but to me, our brother, we don't mind. I still want to be part of his life. Well, you have to talk to him about that and ask him because.
Okay. I'll talk to him personally. Then. All right. Okay. You want to talk to you before you go? Do you mind taking a second seat here? Maybe you can just say it now and hear what he has to say about it. Matthew. No love lost. If you don't mind, I stay in your life. If you don't mind, it's all up to you. I know what you decide. Sorry. Okay. Mommy, what do you have to say about about this proposal? Well, like I said, it's totally his decision because um, it, it, it's now his choice okay. if he wants to. Um, okay. Seeing that he's excluded, could there be another person that you think could be the father to, to him? Okay. And probably we can also perform another test free of charge. Ah. Uh, the person I'm thinking of doesn't even live in Zim anymore. Okay, can you sit closer to him so you can... He's back. Can you? Turn it. He's back. Okay. <sighs> yeah, but maybe, yeah. Sit here. Sit here. Sit, sit. Okay. The last time I spoke to the person I'm thinking of, he, he wasn't even within them. Okay. But do you remember his name? Actually, most of the people that I interacted with during school days and soon after school, I, 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 don't, I don't really keep recollection of names. Okay. But the bits and pieces that we have, can you relate uh, them to us? Maybe the first names. The one that I'm contemplating, his name was um, Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah, he's, he used to stay in Queen Okay.